friends here we are talking about env object of jq command see this env object is the default object in jq and using this we can access os environment variables or os custom variables in jq command first let me go with how to access os environment variables these two are the simple syntaxes to access os environment variables using env object in jq command now let me go with command line suppose on your command line if you run your os command called env you are going to get all your os environment variables so now all these environment variables we can access as an object in your jq command with env option now let me show you that jq without any input simply i am writing env so this is giving an object and that object consists of all your operating system environment variables suppose from that if you want to read let's say user variable yes we can read it or any other simply with the dot your environment variable and from the output if you want to remove quotations yes we can remove using or option and here we have one more option to read your environment variables that is instead of small env you can take capital env that's it basically there is no use simply to read your environment variable using env option in jq command because same thing simply we can do with echo command but sometimes you may need to create some object let's say in this way jq hyphen n let's say i'm creating object called current user then env dot user that's it now suppose if you want to access custom variables so for that this is the syntax so you have to define your variable and in the same line you have to write your jq command let me go with that suppose i am taking os u name variable as let's say the command output of u name then jq hyphen n then custom object in that simply i am writing let's say u name now your variable this is available in env object now see the result yes we are getting it of course this also directly you can get with cat command as well let me show you your cat command on linux so i'm taking u name dollar u name command close end your cat that's it and suppose if you want to provide if you want to access multiple custom variables in your jq command so for that also you can use same syntax so first your first custom variable then let's say i'm taking one more variable called dt so which is nothing but output of date let's say then date env dot dt there is one more way to access your custom variables in env object that is first you have to export your variables let me export that this is one variable then let me export our next one let's say date equals to dollar date now you can write your jq command it also works now same thing you can use in your shell script also let's say i'm taking vi help with env let me take some shell script name bin bash so suppose i am going to write u name equals to dollar u name you can take any custom variable okay instead of command name i am taking let's say os u name then let me take present working directory i am taking let's say there is a default variable called pwd i am taking that i am trying to export these two then simply export it so you can export any number of variables in this way and all those you can access using your jq command with the help of env object so simply i am writing 
OS U name. Now that is available in env object with the help of OS U name. Then second one we are taking let's say working directory. So env dot that's it. Now save it. Provide the execution permissions for it. Run that. Yes, you are getting it. Not only these two, you can define your required variables here in this way. You can export it and you can access them in this way, which is very useful in your real time. Okay, thank you.